Sweat it to the truth, nothing but the truth. Put my hands on the Bible, y'all put me to the booth. Sweat it to the truth. Yo, what's going on, man? So we got a husband and wife who have been married for 30 days and get into a and get into a dispute. I don't know if this is a skit or not. We've been seeing a lot of skits pop up pop up lately, but nonetheless, if it is, it's definitely something that needs to be talked about. But she's mad fuming because he he has not put her as a beneficiary or on the deed or any of these things so let's tap in and see what they talking about 30 days we've been married you haven't changed nothing mm -hmm. into my name you, you haven't should. put the house in my name you haven't put the insurance in my name and then you got like everybody else is on as a beneficiary and i can't I, <laughs> no, no you no, you, you, you cannot be saying what you just say? You got both of them. What you just say? Say that. Say that. Say that one more time. Say it again. You heard what I said. Don't call my mama. Don't just say what I heard. I want everybody. She got. She got somebody there. This. This who I married. This who I married thirty days ago. This who I married thirty days ago. Thirty whole days, and you still haven't put me on nothing. Like nothing. It takes time to do it. Like it's right. like you're not even taking this marriage serious. It's like you taking it too like serious still, right now. It's like you still attached to your mama. Hey, mom, do you like a mama look, 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 boy. look, check me, check me out. The mama boy. A little look, mama's look. boy. Do you love me or you love the money? What's one you? What, what, what are you here for? What are you here for? Listen, like I said. Oh, what you I'm on TikTok interested. or something? What are you on? I'm not interested in nothing. That you talking about right now? Because I don't even this, think this you care about me. Because what if you die? What if you die? What's gonna happen to me if you die? Who's gonna take care of me? Who's gonna take care of me? You told me when we got married. I know she is. You're gonna do everything. You're gonna make sure I'm taken care of. And now I'm like second guessing everything. You you can't be serious right now. Yes, I am. Because you don't even love me. The Bible says for a man that How you gonna say that? That he cleans his wife and leaves his mother. Like what is wrong? Who are you? It's not who's on. Who are you? Uh, really you tripping about, really about, about some? You tripping about some paperwork really right really now? Really care about me? I would be taken care of. I'm gonna take care of you. What am I here for? We just got back off that camp. No. You worried about some paperwork? No, no, no. Go, go sit down. Go sit down. Go sit down. No. Go sit down, go sit down. Oh my god, you a headache right now. You're you being such a headache right now. Like I said, I am not trying to hear nothing. This, okay? This, this, Until you put me you really, on the insurance, on the deed, on the card, on everything. It, it's no marriage. You might as well go ahead and say there's no marriage. Who are, why are you? I don't care what you're talking about. You must be talking to your friends or something. No, no, it, it, it's no, no way. I, 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 there's no I way. There's no way. I have to frame myself. I married you. What? Yes. Oh, so now you second guess marrying me? I guess so. You I need to be second guess marrying you. You the one that don't care about me. Because somebody that really cares about that person. This would have all been in the works two weeks prior to us even getting married. That's you so cap. That's so cap. Up until we got married. Like after we married and you say I do. Now something happened to you. What if you know your mama don't like you? It, it, it's not for real. She gets on every time I come up. Why well, now? Look at you. Look at you. She shouldn't make no. Look face. at you. She should never. Why are you face. acting like this you right look now? Just like her. Why are you acting yeah, right now? She looks just like her. You look just like your mom. Your mom is very, very, very. You know. Ooh. You heard what me. You, what you trying to say? I look like a what? I'm not saying. Anything. I look like a what? All I until until you, you put me on everything, you're not married. This is not real. Give my ring back then. How no, about that? Take the ring off. No, we ain't married. Take the ring off then. No, take the ring off. That's a promise. And even ain't no promise. You a you a liar. You a straight liar. And when I get up on the judge, I'm gonna let the judge know that you. Hey, you gonna give my last name back then? You gonna give my last name back? Liar, deceiver, liar, 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 li
mommy's uh, boy. Mommy boy. Go back, go back to the little hut that you came from that I got you at. I'll holler at you later. I don't care. Hey, you want me to open the door for you? If he was a real man, if he was a real man, guess what? I would have been taken care of. I should have been married a real woman. I should have married a real woman. How about that? It don't get no realer than me. Yeah, it is. No. It get worse than this. You already told me, and you would never find somebody else like me. Think so? You think so? That money. Bad money. Bad money. Bad money. Bad money. Yo, never again. Never again. I promise you, never again. Never again. That right there? Oh, no. Hello. Single life. Single life. 30 days, bro. They into it like that within 30 days. They still, they supposed to be in a, still in a honeymoon phase, infatuation stage. You know what I'm saying? Rocking, knocking. But nah, they finna rock, knock. Like, man. But fellas, I'll say this. This is why you marry a woman that you love. This is why you marry a woman that you love. And you and you know that you love her before y'all get married. You know that you're willing to do anything for her before y'all get married. You're willing to give her the world before y'all get married. So you won't have to go through stuff like this. Any real man would jump at the opportunity to be able to put his wife on all that stuff that she named without the wife doing all of that. You know, when a man be standing there and he be watching his watching his wife come down a come down an aisle. <laughs> that's truly how that man feels about his wife like this me she taking on my last name i would do anything for her now i'm not saying that he isn't he isn't a real man i'm speaking in general reference i'm not saying i don't know anything about this couple i don't know what led up to this i don't know how this ended but i'm just saying in general reference any real man wants to take care of his wife that's a part of our, as part of our being protector and provider. We take pride in that. We're proud of being able to take care of our woman, our family, whatever the case might be. Now, I see a lot of dudes in the comment section siding with the man, saying that the woman is in the wrong. I gotta be honest with us, fellas. She's right. It's just that her delivery and how she's going about it. And it doesn't help. It doesn't help with the fact that he has her on the phone. That even adds more fuel to the fire. The truth is about us men is that we as men don't like when we're being told what to do for one. And then for two, we don't like to be told that we're not handling our business, especially when it comes, especially when it comes to people that we're supposed to be taking care of. But I will most definitely say that she is annoying. However, annoying can also come off the truth because every man is called to take care of and provide for his wife. And I know for me, when my wife and I was about to get married, I was willing to do anything for her straight up. I did not care because she had proved herself to be the woman that I'd be willing to lay my life down for as the Bible calls for the man to do. But she proved that way before marriage. And so that's why I popped this off by saying to make sure you marry a woman that you love. But fellas, ladies, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Uh, like, share, like, share, subscribe. As always, peace, love. I'm out. Sweat it to the truth. Nothing but the truth. Put my hands on the Bible, y'all. Put me to the booth. Sweat it.